Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 51 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field dance. So we can see there, this is a follow-up problem from example 11. So I suggest you to review what we learned in example 11 in test book, then you can continue this problem. Right? It tell you we have a uniform charged wire, and it starts from the origin location O and rise vertically so along the Y axis to the length L and then we need to determine the component of the electric field as EX and EY at this location. This location we can call it is X and the Y component is zero. So we can draw a picture look like this one, right? So we can consider a small fraction of this wire. The length is DY and then the charge density is lambda. Therefore, the charge for this small fraction is called lambda dy. Do you agree? Yes. And this carry positive charge. And this charge will produce the electric field as radically outward. So along this direction, right? For this small fraction. So this is called the magnitude of the electric field as for this small fraction, dE, right? And then we can write it as lambda dy, this is the charge it carries, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, this is a constant, divided by distance from this fraction to the location we interest, right? So you can see this side is x, this side is y, so the Distance squared is x squared plus y squared. Agree? Therefore, we can write the magnitude of electric field as for this small fraction dE in this term. Right? And also, we can project this electric field as for this small fraction in x component times cosine theta, in y component times sine theta because this is a angle theta. We call this is angle theta. Agree? And you can also write the sine theta as y divided by this uh, squared x squared plus y squared. So easy. So this is y. The side length for this one is squared x squared plus y squared. And also the cosine theta as x divided by side length for this one. Right? Then we input the dE and the sine theta, cosine theta inside. We can get the simplified term for dEx, dEy. Agree? It looks like this one. And then you can see we can do integral. We can do integral from the 0 to L. We can we will tell you this uh, wire's length is L. So that means in the y component, in the y axis, this uh, dy just increases from 0 to L, right? So do the integral from 0 to L and do the integral. We get the answer for Ex. Similarly, we can get the answer for Ey. Uh, the part one is done. The second one tell you if this wire just extends from the 0 to infinity. So y from 0 to infinity. That means L equal to infinity. And we need to find the E makes the 45 angle to the horizontal for NX. So how can we do that? So there we can see we need to find the angle theta E, right? Theta E with the EX and EY. So ES, EY we get it from previous um, solutions. And then we can see the tangent theta E is as EY over EX, no problem, agree? And then this one, we can see, we input EY and EX inside this term, this term can be, and the lambda, lambda can be canceled, right? And this term, this term canceled. So we get the ratio for EY and EX in this term, and then, it tell you if the L equal to infinity, what is the tangent theta E? 
So there we have a small trick. You can just uh, write this equation, split this uh, divide sign for two terms. It looks like this one, right? And you can see if theta points to the infinity, if the uh, if the L pointing to the infinity, this term becomes zero. This term becomes zero. So this is a negative one. Agree? Tangent theta e equal to negative one. So of course, make this angle forty five degree uh, below the axis. Thank you.